My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Jacob and I are going to break down all of our bets for UFC Vegas 61, Dern versus Jan. Before we jump in, go to wewantpicks.com and become a premium member. It is only $10 a month, and that's $2.50 a week. And with that, you get all of our picks and all of our bets early, not to mention the DraftKings Optimizer and all Plus the other content. Plus so much more. Just an unbelievable you, amount of stuff. But wait, there's more. But the reality is our bets get posted the very second we place them. Jacob just placed a bet for UFC... Vegas, what was 66 it? 66 like, in December, 66, I think. Yeah. You just said it and forget it. <laughs> so we want picks.com at the top. Click become a member. It is only $10 a month. And if you link your Discord, which is free, you will get alerts immediately to your phone the very second that we place these bets. So you can go ahead and get that line value because I guarantee Jacob's bet, which is plus money right now, it may remain plus money, but it's not going to be where he got it. We want picks.com at the top. Click become a member. And before we jump in, if you want $50 for free, all you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets, sign up with any one of our betting partners, make a deposit, and I will send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Wewantpicks.com slash bets, sign up, make a deposit, I'll send you 50 bucks. Listen, it's a little weird. We lost ah, the Tabitha Ricci damn it. fight. We lost the Tabitha Ricci fight. Uh, that was my most confident everything this week. I was positive she was going to win. I was going to throw her in my DraftKings lineup. I, I loved her at the minus 150 odds that I got her for. She flexed all the way up to minus 220, I think, minus 230. Fight's canceled. I had two units. That bet's gone. The premium member parlay, she was in that, so I had to redo that. But So right now, I really only have two units on my bets left and then the premium parlay. I got Christoph Jotko. Jacob and I are absolutely heads up on this fight. I got him at minus 120. He's now moved to minus 131. That has yo-yoed. I've seen a little better than minus 120, and I've seen even worse than minus 131. It's bad. It'll be a pick at fight night, I would imagine. It's going to be a pick uh, It's yo-yo. This minus 131 was literally minutes before filming, which is after the weigh-in. So for whatever reason, it, it moved after weigh-ins at least a little bit. So um, anyway... Brendan Allen's a very well-rounded fighter, but the reality is he's not going to win a striking match. So he needs to get it to the ground, which he's capable of doing, but Christoph Jotko has an 83% takedown defense, and Brendan Allen tends to not make the right decisions in fights. This would not be the very first time that he came out there and didn't use his primary tool, which is grappling. So I like Jotko to keep it on his feet, just touch and go with the hands. It'll be three rounds. It may not be the most exciting fight in the world, but I think Jocko gets it done. I got him at minus 120. And then this is a prop bet. I've got Dern Jan over two and a half rounds. I got that at minus 140. Again, that has, has continued to move. And it's a weird one because I don't, I, I don't understand the logic here. I mean, Dern and Jan... Under two and a half rounds, Jan's not going to knock out Dern. That's not what happens. She's just too tough. She's going to take whatever damage and continue coming forward. And Dern's takedown offense is absolute dumpster fire trash. So they really think that Dern is going to take Jan down in under two and a half rounds and submit her? I just don't see that happening. I think Dern wins. I don't think it's under two and a half rounds. So I love the over. Uh, I got it at minus 140. You may even be able to get it better than that. So I love that bet. And if you watch any of our daily fantasy stuff, I jumped in it on in the daily fantasy stuff as well. And then we have the premium parlay. I And this is for premium members. So this is for the members that belong to weonpicks.com. It's paying $10 a month. This premium member parlay hits at an... I forget what the percent clip is. It's like an 80-something percent clip. I think it's 140%. Leg. Okay. It's an 80-something percent clip for the two-leg and a 70% clip for the three-leg. We go up to four legs. Um, that has been plus money for us because the odds are usually so good you can win one, lose three, and still end up up units. But we're down to a three-leg for this week because without Tabitha Ricci, I'm not just going to put a bet out there that I'm not positive in. And four people without her is a little tricky. So we got a two-leg, which is plus 107 odds, and a three-leg, which is plus 187 odds. If you're a premium member, go check it out now to make sure you get the new updated parlay. Or if you link your Discord, you already got the alert on your phone. Jakey boy! Speaking this, of three legs. This slide gave me a seizure. Did you hear that transition? I heard I it, and I'm going to yeah. ignore it. Yeah. All right. First of all, we have Brandon Allen 
Lock of the week, and let me be upfront and honest with everyone. I said in my Lock of the Week video, I don't love it, right? Like Angelo said, in a striking match against Jocko, he's probably going to lose. He probably needs to get this fight to the ground, and he might not be able to get the fight to the ground. But, as I mentioned in this live stream last night, if you guys watched the live stream, I broke down the entirety of how I go about picking my Lock of the Week. It just comes down to Jocko, not super dangerous, Brendan Allen, Super live, and when it comes to picking an underdog on this card, that's the only matchup I found that I like. So, Brendan Allen to get us back on track after the 10 in a row. Now we're going to win 15 in a row. Hopefully, to start with Brendan Allen, we got two units. And Angelo said, this has been yo-yoing. This was minus 105 this morning. I just checked again. Now it's back up to plus 111. So, if you like Brendan Allen, maybe wait, maybe play it. It is what it is. It's going to jump back and forth before the fight starts. Jesse Ronson, plus 120. This was the other option I was looking at for Lock of the Week, but Silva is so, so dangerous in this matchup. This comes down to, I think they're pretty much mirror images of each other in the striking, but Silva has shown that his chin cannot hold up. And Ronson against Nicholas Dalby. Nicholas Dalby came in, tried to push the pressure, and Jesse Ronson handled it just fine. I think the same thing happens in this fight. Silva, if he wrestles, that's his path to victory, but if he stands with Jesse Ronson, his chin has been an issue in the past, and I think Jesse finds the chin. So I got plus 122 units on that. We got a McKenzie Dern prop bets for the premium members. That's on my side, and so has his. We have the entirety with the premium parlay, and then I have mine that I kind of hide for premium members as well. Got these early. Those odds have also moved. Check that out. You'll see him if you're a premium member. You know what I'm talking about here. We're feeling good about those. The next two are inside the distance decision. No way. Actually, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up at Bet Online. I'm telling you, I mentioned it last night in the live stream. Bet Online with their inside the distance decisional action bets and then their plus three and a half, minus three and a half is some of the best value on the card. Right now, Slava, let me check real quick. It's plus 165. Last night, he was plus 155 for Moneyline. I got the same odds. For Slava, 155 for decision, no action. So if he gets wrestled for three rounds and you have a money line bet on Slava, you are going to lose that bet. If he gets out wrestled for three rounds and I have this bet at the exact same odds, I get my money back. And I think Slava is the better striker. If it stays on the feet, he can find that knockout. Same thing for Trevin Jones. The guy hardly gets finished. He doesn't really finish people very often. He loses a lot of decisions. So if that happens, I fully expect Trevin Jones in this bet for 1.5 units at plus 155 to get my money back. That's my expectation. But if he finds that power that he's shown in the past... I'm going to win that bet. So it's a little bit of a hedge. You don't have to play the money lines all the time. Go to We Won't Pick Stop. So I'm not going to bet. <laughs> Sign up for a bet online and, uh, and and tail these with me. The other two were premium member uh, bets, but the odds changed so much. I wanted to show off that we got these early. We were ahead of the lines. Now, whatever terminology you want to use on that. But Sadiq and Big Don, under one and a half. That's plus 140 is now plus 117. Ronson and Silver under one or under two and a half. I thought this was going to be a one and a half line. I got it from minus 120. It's moved all the way to minus 152, and it's going to keep moving. I mean, that thing's going to get crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they cancel it out and move it to plus or move it to one one and a half before the fight starts. They've done that in the past when it gets too crazy. They they don't cancel the bets, but you keep your bets. Yeah, yeah, they they move just the anyway. Um, and now I'm trying something different. I'm trying some different strategies for you guys, some different things to try to make us all some money. So for the premium members, I did a 3-2-1 parlay, three units, two units, one unit. You can see the three-unit parlay has two fighters, favorites. The two-unit parlay has three fighters, which now I'll say Richie was one of them. Now it's two fighters. And then the one unit is four fighters. They're all kind of pick -ems. and we'll see how this stack up. I might flip-flop them to where I do three units on... All right, I, I do three units on the five. On this the got one, so but confusing the, so but then, fast. But then the two and then the favorites, but the underdog, we'll figure it out. One of these is going to hit. If the first one hits, it pays for the, the other two. That's the strategy behind it, and those are kind of free parlays. Anyway, these are my bets. Let me know. How do you feel? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll do. I'll I'll put a I'll put a suggestion in the suggestion in the box. comments below, Angelo. <laughs> Engage, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Well, those are our bets for UFC Vegas 61. The Ricci fight dropping is very disappointing, but guys, become a premium member. It is ten dollars a month. That's nothing. That's two dollars and fifty cents a week. You hit one of these bets that you tail. It pays for months, if not years, worth of premium membership, depending what your unit size is. It's a no-brainer. Just the line movement alone. You could pay for months of premium membership on the line movement alone because we're posting our bets the very second we place them, which in Jacob's case has a UFC Vegas 66 bet, is two months in advance. Those lines move, and whatever closing line value he's going to get, 
would cover premium membership. Wheelpicks.com, click become a member. And if you want that 50 bucks for free, wheelpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. I'll send you 50 bucks.